If you guys are in need of some coins to get that player or team you've always wanted, make sure to check out Mutt's store and use code TD for 10% off. Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to some NCAA Road to Glory. Unfortunately, we did not end last episode on a good note. So we took on Penn State. This was like our last chance to maybe get in the Big Ten Championship. Some of you guys thought that thumbnail was clickbait. It wasn't. We were actually tied at 64 apiece at one point. I'm not exactly sure what bowl game we're in, but we're taking on number two. 10 South Carolina. They actually started the year off 10 and 0. They were ranked like number two in the country. They actually beat UCF. That was their only loss. They beat Georgia, who's ranked. They beat Missouri, who's ranked. But then they dropped the final two games to number nine Clemson and number 12 Texas A&M. And that is who's in the BCS championship game. We got Central Florida, who is number one. They went 11 and one. They're gonna be taking on Auburn, who is 10 and two. Ohio State did end up losing in the championship game to Michigan State, so they fell from number one to seven. They're taking on Georgia Tech in the Orange Bowl. Florida State is playing Texas A&M in the Sugar Bowl. And then there's our bowl game. We are in the Capital One Bowl, which is in Orlando, and we're taking on South Carolina. This team is no joke, so Connor Shaw is their quarterback. He's a 91 overall. Running the ball, they got Mike Davis. Connor Shaw is also a dual threat. Their top receiver is Bruce Ellington. This guy set records this year. 97 catches, almost 1,600 yards, and 17 touchdowns. Offensive line's looking pretty good, but wait till you see this next player. Jadavian Clowney, 99 overall. So this game's gonna be an absolute battle, and I'm trying to win. I know it's not, you know, the national championship, but this is still a really good bowl game. And you guys gotta remember, this is James White's last game with us. It's Aberderis' last game. It's Patterson's last game. Johnny Manziel, he ended up winning the Heisman. He finished that final game with 378 yards, five touchdowns, 80 yards rushing. He ended up beating out Winston, Mariota, Boykin, and Gaffney. I feel like there's so many things I could show you guys. One thing I do wanna make sure you see is I actually was first team all Big Ten for quarterbacks. And then we actually had a lot of players on second team, so I ended up beating out Braxton Miller. But James White, he was the top running back. Aberderis made it, Patterson made it. We had a couple more offensive linemen. Our right tackle, Havenstein, he's a 90 overall. He is coming back, so that's a good thing. Chris Borland is not coming back. 97 overall middle linebacker. That That's gonna be tough to replace. I'm still salty we lost that Penn State game. Like, we literally put up 64 points and lost. I don't know what happened to our defense, so I'm trying to take up some time of possession in this game. We're gonna dump it off to Patterson. Blitz is definitely coming right side. That is, ooh, okay, right across the middle. That's Doe. He's like, I wanna say he's our top returning receiver next year, and he drops everything. I feel like I shouldn't be talking about this in the bowl game, but you guys need to let me know. I wanna stay at Wisconsin, but we'll have to see if Melvin Gordon ends up leaving. I might have to transfer. This drive is taking a hot minute. They can't score if we don't let them touch the ball. Wow, who is that? They move a lot of guys around on defense. That is one thing I've noticed. Okay, we got man coverage. We're gonna take a shot. Melvin, oh, it's a little bit underthrown. That was a lot underthrown. So that first drive took a while, but it doesn't mean anything if you don't score. Okay, Aberdeers is open. This is gonna be our biggest play of the game. Maybe we can get things going. Another blitz is coming. Oh yeah, Pedersen's wide open. Now we're getting things going. We have gotta get a touchdown on this drive. Ooh, James White's open. But I'm gonna run. I'm gonna use James White as a blocker. Uh, he kind of took the linebacker out of the play. That opened things up for me. We're gonna go with the toss here. Let's see how this works. They brought a blitz up the middle. And they were ready for it. That was good D by them. We're still pitching a shutout. This is actually pretty impressive. Let's go uh, Aberdeers across the middle. I barely got rid of that one. Oh, someone's going to be open. Patterson on the left side. That was a 50-50 ball. He went up and got it. I'm feeling Aberdeers on this play. Oh, yeah, he's going to be open. We're going to lead him to the outside. And he's got it. That's a touchdown. Oh, I actually slipped on that play. I didn't even notice. I was so focused on downfield. They ended up scoring a touchdown at some point. It must have been before the half ended. So they must have turned the ball over to start the second half because we have great field position. We're going with some read option. Oh, I'm gonna break one tackle. I'm fighting for the first. Cannot let this opportunity go to waste. They're gonna bring a blitz, which means we got man coverage. That's Wozniak, and he's going to drop it. I mean, it was good effort, so I'm not mad at him, but oh, that's Clowney I'm worried about, isn't it? We're running read option. He's gonna play me. So I'm gonna give it to James White. I was terrified for my life on that play. James White underneath, we're gonna get him. He's dropping it too? Why does our team have Butterfingers as the season went on? They've been playing a lot of cover two. Looks like uh, cover two again. Oh no, pass rush is coming. 
I am just gonna get rid of it and hopefully we make the field goal. We are gonna end up making it, but they're gonna score, so we're down one. They are sending some heat, like every single play. I gotta be ready for it. Once again, they're coming in hot. I barely got that one away to Frederick, but we got the first. Once again, another blitz. Oh yeah, Aberderis, he's got a beat. I put it out in front. And he's gonna bring it in. He's down at the four. I don't know if you guys saw. I literally blocked like everybody. I may have said that. I don't know. Did I say that? Regardless, it paid off. Everdaris is not on the field here. But we're gonna go across the middle, and I just threw a pick. RB's wide open. That is uh, Wozniak across the middle. Let's go. I'm trying to get as many plays left in this quarter. Let's go right underneath. That's James White. That's close to another first. The disrespect. They got one-on-one -on -one coverage again. Aberdares is going to completely burn his man. We just got to keep passing him the ball because he's going off right now. Cannot be turned the ball over in the red zone. Oh, yeah. One-on-one -on -one coverage again. Aberdares, let's go. We have a huge third and 13. We got to get in the end zone on this play. They're going to bring a blitz. Oh, man. That was a weird look. They dropped one of their D linemen back in coverage. Dang, I was not ready for that. That was a good play by them. And we missed the field goal. We're down 28-13. We got to score, and we have to score quick. Like, as fast as possible. I'm going to fit it in there. Aberdeeris again coming up clutch. This is literally our season on the line, fourth and six. And to make things worse, Aberdeeris is not on the field. We got to pick this up right here, man. Someone's got to get open. Oh gosh, they're coming in hot. James White's open. Let's go. Down the field. He's going to break the tackle and he's got a touchdown. Oh man, I did not see that coming. I do not know how he got open. We got to get a stop though. We're going to go for two right here. So we have to get this. If we don't get this, we lose. This is a lot of pressure. We got Pedersen on the option route. Averdares, hopefully he's in one-on-one. -on -one. We got Gordon underneath. Let's, uh, I'm just going to run it myself. I'm just gonna run it in there. We got it, we are down by seven. Can we get a stop? Come on, D. Three yard rush on the first play. They are, oh, that's a big play right there. I don't know if we're gonna get a stop. They are running all over us. They just got another first down. We have no timeouts left. We got them to a third and two and they're gonna get it. So we end up losing the bowl game. They are, oh man, they're celebrating on the field. In our last two games, we have given up 1,100 yards to opposing quarterbacks. In 11 touchdowns. That's crazy. I know I had that one interception in the red zone, which was a huge killer. But it's like, if I don't play a perfect game, like, we end up losing. We're going to advance to the end of the season. So we're going to find out who won the national championship. We're going to find out, like, who's staying and who's leaving. Like I said, if Melvin Gordon leaves, Loki might have to transfer. Oh, UCF got stomped. Auburn absolutely blew him out 51 to 24. That looks like it was a good game. Florida State 52, A&M 45. Uh, TCU ended up being Notre Dame by eight. Ohio State ended up winning, so they finished number three in the country. That took a heck of a lot of time to sim through, but we're about to find out who's gonna be on our team for the upcoming season. I'm up to a 99 overall. How? I don't know how that happened. I guess I was putting in work over the off season. We'll take it. Now we're about to find out, did Melvin Gordon stay? He did, he's up to a 98 overall. His stats definitely improved because look at his speed, 98. Corey Clement is up to a 90 as a sophomore. Oh, okay, what about receivers? That's what I'm really worried about. Uh, fullback, Derek Watt is up to a 91. Wide receiver, this is the big one. Frederick, he's back, 84. Doe is an 81. Lewis, who's a freshman, he's an 80. He's only got 89 speed. Our receivers could use some work, but I, I think we can make things happen. He didn't really play for us last year, but he's up to an 89. Okay, our O-line's looking pretty good. Uh, 88 right guard and 94 right tackle. D-line is not the greatest. Left outside linebacker, TJ Watt, he's up to a 93. Couple of decent middle linebackers, right outside linebacker, Schobert. Not too bad, man. So our front seven's looking all right. And then our cornerbacks, he's up to a 90 as a senior. Our corners are a little bit weak. You gotta remember, this guy, wow, he's an All-American. As a 78, that was definitely our weak spot last year is our secondary was super bad. Free safety is an 84 and our strong safety, oh, we're starting a freshman. Little worried about our secondary. Our kicker is a senior All-American. Could have fooled me considering you missed that kick against Penn State. And then our punter is an 89. Is there any way we could just put Corey Clement at wide receiver? Because he'd probably be our best one. The more I think about it, 
I gotta say, I'm probably staying put at Wisconsin, but ultimately, I will leave it up to you guys in the comment section down below. If you guys are ready for season number two, season one was a good one, man, but season two has gotta be better. We gotta make another run towards the championship. Hopefully, you guys are ready for that. Be sure to leave a like if you are. Subscribe if you guys are new around here, and until next time, I will see you later. Peace out.